Art is the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination. Amanda Spencer is known for her creativity. Amanda is a senior at the college at Brockport with a double major in international studies and art. Her focus is in drawing and photography in the fine arts program. Art has been a passion of hers for many years. It wasn't until she became a little older that she's learned how to truly express herself as an artist. I think I just knew that's what I wanted to do when I was younger. Like I've always kind of been in, like intrigued by art, but I don't know, when I was younger, I kind of fell into the lie of, oh, like you can't make any money like doing anything with art and there's no jobs, which isn't true. And I think just as I got older, I kind of like found my voice and realized that I can kind of make my way in something if I'm passionate about it. And if I kind of, you know, like make my own path, then I'll be fine. The art department at the college at Brockport allows her to do just that. Yeah, I do. I really, um, I really like all the faculty and the whole department is really supportive. I mean, if somebody, if, if anybody's like looking or interested in art, just like take a class. Amanda has found success in the art department. Three of her recent works have been displayed at the annual student art exhibition inside the gallery at Tower Fine Arts Center. Her works on display are called Reverie, Resilience, and Serpentine. Making these works available for purchase gives other people a chance to enjoy them and gives Amanda a sense of pride. By allowing students an outlet to display their finished projects, they can form a sense of professionalism and shed some light on the field of selling artwork. So, <laughs> it's another self-portrait series because I'm obsessed with myself. Um, mm -hmm. No, it's just hard to find models because everyone's so busy, so I'm always, I'm always around. Um, these kind of just sprang out of me trying to experiment with the camera, and so I was experimenting with like long exposure and double exposure, um, and then I did a lot of cropping, so like both of these images, like the actual images, like there's way more to it, and I just cropped like d really down into it. So I don't know. I'm pretty proud of them just because before I did them, I was kind of like new to the digital ca camera world, I guess. Um, and so it was just cool trying to figure out like what I could do with it and how I could like manipulate color and all of that to get like the kind of feel that I wanted. Um, so these four are actually four out of a series of 10, and I called it Resilience. Um, it's actually the series of 10 that I did on sexual assault, so the, the juror kind of like chose some of the images and kind of edited it, but um, these are them. Um, they're, um, yeah, I kind of like shooting on film because you can't see, like you can't see what you've shot until you develop your film, and I just think that it leads to more of like a increased kind of thinking about it. Like you want to make sure that your exposure is right and that your, like everything is right so that you get the image that you want, because you can't, like just redo it. Mm -hmm. So this lino cut kind of, um, I was really frustrated with like the creative process and just I had been like overthinking my work a lot so I just sat down with a piece of linoleum and I just started drawing and I drew the hand first and I like added the rope and I was like oh and that would be cool um, and I kind of just followed like a more intuitive process instead of planning it out like step by step and uh, this was the result so I'm really happy with it. Um, I don't know, and I want to keep kind of like making work like that, like trying not to overthink it so much. But that's not all. Recently, some of Amanda's work was featured on Scholars Day. Scholars Day is a day dedicated to showcasing student work. The college cancels classes so students can view some of the best of what their peers have accomplished during the previous year or semester. Amanda's work is currently on display in the college's Drake Memorial Library. They all kind of have a tone of like melancholy and kind of sadness to them. So I had the little like artist statement underneath like the work that's there, just kind of like I don't know, just big different times of my life that I've felt like like sad or depressed. It's been a really kind of complicated emotion. Like you know what I mean? Like sometimes you want to be sad, sometimes you hate it, sometimes I don't know if that makes sense. So just kind of trying to get across that different emotions are like more than just one thing. Amanda looks forward to beginning the next chapter of her career in art as she prepares to graduate from Brockport.
Amanda plans on continuing to pursue art in different forms, even if that is not her main source of income. However, she would love to make a living by being an artist if the opportunity were to present itself. Many artists feel the same way. Picasso did not know whether or not his work would be valuable when he was creating it. What he did know was that he was an artist and the joy of creating his art was more important than anything else. Hopefully, as the years go by, people will be able to see and appreciate Amanda's artwork through different artistic mediums. Although Amanda primarily works with film development, it is safe to assume that she will release different forms of art including coloring books, photo books, artistic videos, and other merchandise. As long as she continues to express herself creatively, opportunities will never cease to present themselves.